to get fired for this? That isn't KFC. I, I mean, I, I suppose there's a contract, what but I don't know. People would generally like, like, can you be seen drinking a Coke? Uh, well, yeah, all Yum brands. You know, you got Wendy's, KFC, Long John Silver's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut. They're all Pepsi products, man. But the Olive Garden, that's a that's a Coke product right there. I haven't been to Olive Garden in like two years. No, I've, like four years. I've never been. All right. What it's like think? okay, but that's the problem with it is that it's too expensive to be okay. We've had this question before, and yeah, it continues to make me incredulous. Th I'm I, no, I, I'm I actually, I I'm still so mad about this. The last time, I'm not answering. I'm not. <laughs> I disagree I, with this percentage, wait, but like, I, I'm going by what chat said yes. last time. You would I, so I, much rather do the toilet. Of course, it takes two seconds. I have this. Is this not backwards? No, I was gonna say much lower. <laughs> It is much lower. It is much lower. It's 29%. 29. 29. Wait, wasn't it the opposite last I just, time? I can't handle that kind of logic. It makes no sense. I'd rather wash the dishes and clean how, the toilet. How dirty, how dirty is your toilet? My toilet, if I went in there, there might be a couple specks. You get it? You just, it's done. It literally is. You just go with the fucking, like, the, the dishes instead, dish you know. Five seconds. Robert's throwing his freaking penne from eight weeks ago into the dish <laughs> place and just pouring hot water on it, hoping that it kills the bacteria. To be honest with you, I wash everything while I'm cooking, so I have, like, that's, barely any dishes. That's smart. Everywhere. That's smart. Yeah. Okay. Which other planet in our solar system is the favorite of Earthlings? Neptune, Jupiter's sun. Mars, okay. Uranus, Saturn, Mercury, it's Venus, gonna be Pluto. Uranus, Sun, Pluto, right? Like, that's, that's yeah. how Chad that's is going like, to vote? No, I'm mean. telling you straight up. Pluto, because people feel bad for it. Saturn, because it's got rings. No, and... they're going to answer the sun because they want to fucking <laughs> no. meme. And Ura yeah, Uranus is obvious. Yeah, wow. Uranus, Sun, Pluto. Those are no. all the memes. No, Uranus, Saturn, Pluto. Saturn, you guys have got to go to like a third grade classroom. Saturn is everybody's favorite planet. The rest of them are just fucking circles. No, you don't understand. Chad loves to feel smart. They're not going to take sun. I stand by this. We're not talking about Mars either. Nobody likes Mars. Mars. I think Mars has an outside chance. It's like everybody's third favorite planet. Okay, well, it is actually Pluto, Mars, Uranus. Ah, two out of three again. Saturn was off from Pluto by 1%. And the <laughs> That's surprising. Our, our soda man is weighed in again, says, I would get fired if on the job or in uniform, but I can't post pics of me drinking Coke even if I'm out. I have to hide what beverage I'm drinking. That's absurd. So partially correct then. <laughs> I can understand it, I guess. How many times have you, you know like how margarita glasses, they dip it in salt? Come on, dude. <laughs> How many times you dip your balls is what you're going to yeah. say? Yeah, or yeah, anyone's true. balls, really. I was hoping you guys were going to be like, ah! Just you know, skim like... the underside of their nuts. Just <laughs> yeah, just like That's right around the gooch, you know? Just like but kinda... like, has no one in chat done the dishes, though? Like, it's not that bad. It's the dishes are, bad. They're, it's not the worst chore in the world. Like, I'd rather clean the dishes than, like, empty the septic tank or something. And but your hands are also, like, they're all grimy and gross afterwards because the, they've been sitting in the water for so long. But the toilet is seriously just get a toilet brush, rattle it around in there, and then pour, like, the toilet cleaner in and then close the lid. You're done in under five minutes for sure. I'd rather deal with poop crust than, than do You're not dealing any, with poop crust. There's not you poop. Had... The flush takes care of the poop. Yeah, like, 99.5% of the poop is taken but... care of with each flush. In the rare occasion that it doesn't. I have a dishwasher, and I would rather clean the toilet. <laughs> what percentage of people regularly pee in the shower? 3%. You are high as that hell. That is super you are. high as hell. Look, I just want to live in the world that I want to live in. <laughs> it is, it is probably... Can I much higher this? 59%. Are you kidding me? 59? <laughs> it's all the same pipes. It's all the same pipes. I know Seinfeld is a thing that doesn't make it okay. <laughs> it is all the same pipes. It is actually. I'm not saying I. You're bunch of urine all over your no, tongue. I'm not saying I do it. Do you, but... know, you know how it works? Whatever the container has is what splashes, not what you're pouring into it. I, That's I'll why tell you, you what. pour things or you pour acid into what things in science <laughs> class, not the other way around. I pour don't. acid in your bathtubs to get all the piss out. <laughs> I don't pee in my uh, bathtub, but that's because I my bathtub like doesn't 
drain properly, so I always have like a like an inch of water in there, you know, when oh I'm standing God. there. So I, I don't, yeah, so I don't, I don't want to like stand in my own urine, you know, while I'm showering. I love Rob's life. I clean the dishes while I'm cooking. Oh, by the way, my shower drain doesn't drain, so I just kind of stand in some dirty water while I shower. Dude, like all of New York is old tenement buildings. These pipes were made in like the nineteen, like eighteen forty-six. Like yeah. there's, there's no, there's no fixing them. That's fair. I had oh a, wow! I had a docket a topic for us to begin with here today because right. I got lost in the woods in an Isaac episode. In terms I of my own commentary, I thought you actually woods. got lost in the woods too. I live in a really major excited. metropolitan area. <laughs> I'm not gonna get lost in the freaking woods. I don't know what you do. Maybe you went in the park. It's, you can get lost in Stanley oh. Park. There's no doubt about oh, that. But I started just talking about chores, and I'm interested to know what you're like. The chores that you would always do if you had a choice versus the chores that you would never do. And don't say I would never do any chores. I chores hate mowing the lawn. Yes, it's the worst. I'm with you on that one. I, I actually I, said that in the video. I was like, mowing the lawn is one of the worst chores. I don't I mind doing the dishes though. Mowing the lawn. And because I also we had a <laughs> we had a zero G lawnmower. What does that mean? It it's one of those that you ride and you have like oh. the little two handles and you can like turn that zero or whatever. Did we win? <laughs> oh, <dash>. Basically. <laughs> The, wow, that was so much buttons in the controller. It sounds like you are mowing Oops. a lawn in space. That's essentially what it is. It's a cool little thing. Like if, if you turn the the handles like opposite all the way, it just spins in a circle. Oh, okay. I didn't say I did the dishes. I said I don't mind doing them. Dishes are care. the worst, for sure. No. Uh... You'd rather mow a lawn. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's made it. Okay, so yeah. For these if I, if I had a, if the... I had a job to either do the dishes always or mow the lawn always, I would do I would mow the lawn. Because you do if I had my cool lawnmower, oh, let's go left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't have the cool lawnmower. Instead, you have that shitty lawnmower you gotta push, and it's like a spinning no. turbine of death. Yeah, Dude, have you, you ever know, had the, do it. just the push mower that doesn't even? Yeah, at our old house, I've yeah. used that once or twice. That's, that's the worst. All right, Cobalt, I need you to come back. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh, I'm coming. Um. I overshot. <laughs> Actually, <gasps> yeah, you got it. There we go. Let's go left. <laughs> Oh, oh, I squandered no. you. Yeah, that one's my bad. I, w I am of the opinion the best chore is laundry. Oh, you need to come back down again. Laundry's I'm pretty coming. easy. I agree with you. Laundry is 90% downtime and then like 10% folding. It said it and forget it for the most part. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't even fold. That's like an unnecessary is, step. If, if it's you, another level. If you don't fold, then laundry is not even a chore. It's really yeah. easy. Well, bring your hamper somewhere. Yeah, and exactly. That's the end. But, and yeah. probably put your clothes in the hamper if you're Austin, am I right? Oh. <laughs> no, I just carry the big pile. You don't even have a hand. hamper? No, I do, but I, I carry it back to the, my room in a pile. Ah, I see. Because I don't want the, the clean clothes oh. in a dirty hamper. That's This is not that Bandicoot 3.0 right here. Do you do you sort it in any way, or do you just shove yeah, it Yeah, I'll okay. sort it. I just don't fold it. I can understand Stuff it. it in the drawers. You don't fold it at all? No. But it you know the chore okay. I think we could do without though is after you've dry or put the dishes in the drainer, the step where you then take it and bring it over to the cabinet. Sometimes mm. you can go straight out of the drainer back to usage. Yeah. Unless it's super super full. I and agree. That depends. With, I agree with you on that. To be able to, I, sometimes I like to short circuit that algorithm and just uh, take it right out of the drainer. Sometimes I'll even take minutes off. If I ate like a sandwich on a plate and then I put the plate in the sink, when I make my Dude. next sandwich, I'll just take it out Dude, of the sink, the rinse it, and then eat the sandwich off it, then put it back in the sink. I got an even better one for you. Okay. You don't even put it all the way in the sink. You put it next to the sink, and then when you get your next sandwich, you dust it off with a paper towel and go right back in. Wow, now we're talking. I know. <laughs> you get to skip the sink and the rinse. Right. Or just use a paper towel. To eat or all your meals off. Of oh my god, we okay. have full Robert. But before we go deeper <laughs> down this, can I just get you guys to look at what those clowns look like behind us? I hate my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never, never noticed. Clowns. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, those are some danglers they've got. If you had to rank the chores that you have to do around the house, where do they rank? I'm going to... Like S tier chores, chores I do not mind doing at all. Yeah, let's grab it. I don't mind doing the laundry. I'm gonna be honest with you, the laundry is a high tier chore. Here's why. 
How long does it take to do the laundry? It takes a long ass time. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't leave the house, really. I guess you can, oh, let's do it, dude. You could leave your stuff in the, uh, in the washer or the dryer, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, um, especially the washer. Well, it's tough, you know, because if you leave your clothes in the washer, they might get a little stinky, depending on how long you leave them. If you leave your clothes in the dryer, they might get a little wrinkly. But is that so bad? Versus the stinky? I don't know. Hello, NL. Hello, you stinky NL. Go play Isaac, ugly. More pills. I thought about blank card. Um, nah, that's, that's fine. But I think we're, we're better off like this. Again, we want to save enough money for our, uh, for our greed donation machine. If we could donate, like, 50 cents plus here, that'd be awesome. But sometimes people go, oh, you know, I can't come out today. I gotta do the laundry. And you're like, what does doing the laundry entail? You got a hamper. It's got clothes in it. Oh, my hamper doesn't have clothes in it yet. Well, stop throwing your clothes on the ground, you weirdo. Start throwing them in the hamper. The hamper is just sorted ground. Oh, that's, I mean, the most minimal value, but value nonetheless. Uh, and we might as well peep this as well. Uh, you take your clothes out of the hamper. I'm going to be honest. You're going to be like, uh, do we need to, don't you need to separate the white clothes from the clothes that are not white? This is not correct. I mean, maybe you do, but that strikes me as like some 1940 stuff. My mom still does that, but I am almost at a point where I'm like, mom, why? I've been doing my laundry unseparated for, uh, okay, just cool it a little bit here I've been doing my laundry unseparated for like over 10 years in college I said to myself I'm not gonna separate that stuff I'm gonna make you just won't attack that guy huh well that's scary um, I'm just gonna you know make the laundry prove to me that it needs to be separated and honestly they've played very well together and I'm very proud of them as a result so you, you throw it in the washer you throw in some detergent you set that to normal. You let it run until it beeps. You take it out. You put it in the dryer. I think we need two here. You let it run in the... You put a little dryer sheet in there, maybe. Let it run until it beeps. You take it out and you fold it. 80% of the labor in doing laundry, if not more, is the folding uh, algorithm that you, you choose to approach. So, you get a lot of credit for doing the laundry, but the laundry doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, all things considered, and it's extremely important. It's it's the perfect intersection of chores Because it has to be done. It's not a quality of life thing like you need clean underwear if you think you don't Please take it from me. You need clean underwear socks, you know it, Among every other item of clothing that exists. I had to leave. I was getting a little nervous there You can always buy this for two cents feel a little better, um, but we are gonna have to hit some enemies which scares me I don't want to use the question mark card until we fight Super Greed. Because he's super greedy, dude. Um, so yeah, Laundry's like a top tier one for me. We had a discussion on the show recently. Well, it was probably like, you know, 100 years ago. But uh, I don't think it's good enough. It's close, but it's not quite good enough. We don't need pay to play at this point. We certainly don't want clicker. Uh, okay, piercing shots are, are quite solid. We'll take that and might get enough money to get science But we're kind of in a scary spot here because we're on our own uh, For killing these enemies. But we got tons of time to kill them. So just maybe don't try to uh, go too fast And the question is like would you rather Do dishes or clean the toilet and both Josh I agree with Josh is the most reasonable thing This man has ever said in his entire life both Josh and I had the same opinion. I would much rather clean the toilet than do the dishes. The toilet is a is a bit of a grosser chore, but the dishes are like, they take so much longer. If you've got like a, a really, I mean, how often do you clean the toilet versus how often do, do you do the dishes? I know you're saying do the dishes, you know, every time after you eat and you won't have to do them in one big swell. It's it's not really a concern. We have a dishwasher show, so when the dishes just pile up, we just put them in the dishwasher. It doesn't take that long. Um, but the cleaning the toilet is grosser, but also it takes like, you know, one-eighth of the time. And I don't mind, you know, it's my it's my waste, so I'll, I'll clean that up, no problem. I'm okay with vacuuming, but I don't think I'm good at it. Because vacuuming requires that you maintain, like, a mental map of the places you vacuumed. Unless you have, like... If you got a carpet floor, you can sort of do, like, the lawnmower thing and make patterns in the carpet so you know where you've been. 
But if you got wood, you gotta like keep a mental map and then You know, you gotta you gotta get a separate tool and drag it out and it's fine. It's like a B tier chorp in my personal opinion. I'm trying to think of like what the worst ones are. You're really gonna make me do another wave here, aren't you? How long are you gonna make me wave? Okay, I should not be doing this, but I also just really want one of you to be dusted. This is like the most classic Northern Lion bit of commentary at this point, but for as good as this run is, we do still have 2.8 damage. Which, usually I follow that up with the standard, uh, you know, default parameter of it's not the worst in the world, but really 2.8 damage this late in the game is really, really bad. We're 100% insulated from it when we get the opportunity to use uh, our shears, and I, I think that that will sustain until the end of the game. However, we do need to make sure that we're using our shears perfectly appropriately. And we got kind of thrown off base here when uh, our... Shears just decided to stop attacking enemies, which I was not necessarily a big fan of. Hey, I like this, though. I will say vacuuming, you know, it beats sweeping. Sweeping is vacuuming. It's analog vacuuming. Let me rephrase that, because I kind of like that quote. Sweeping is analog vacuuming. Better for s the smaller the task, the better sweeping is. And, of course, with glass, you've got no choice. Ah, why not? I don't want to uh, go to the. Uh, well, we should have. Ah, nah, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say we should have gotten Little Horn because it stacks. It's it's a tier effect, right? So it would be better for us to have uh, Little Horn with Soy Milk, considering how fast we're shooting. But either way, I'm trying to think of like the worst tier chores. I hate mowing the lawn, and I know that that's. I, I haven't had to do it in a long time. Mowing the lawn and, and shoveling snow, IMO. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. That was on ironic. You're going to have to take my word for it. But my brain was like, yeah, just say IMO here. That'll sound good. Um, rarely do you hear about chores killing people. Every year in Canada, and I'm sure, you know, parts of other parts of the world for sure, um, you know, a, a couple of men before their prime keel over because the snow's freaking heavy. It's the heaviest chore. Well, I don't know if that's true, but it's up there. This is going nowhere. I take no pleasure in washing a car. That's why mankind invented those auto car washes that you just, you know, drive your car into. Uh, it doesn't get your car as clean? Nah, you don't understand. It does by my standards. I'm driving, I'm not driving a murdered out, you know, Lamborghini Murcielago. I'm driving a very, you know, sensible and contemporary domestic sedan. It basically just has to not have, you know, blood stains and too much animal feces, and then it's it's good to go. I don't know what to do on this run. And it makes me feel bad, because the run is great. But, at the same time, maybe it isn't. <laughs> what I mean is, at the same time, it's also sort of like awful at least in terms of our raw stats i feel like i i should know what that is after this much time in the game but um as long as i mean winning well no no, no let's rephrase entertainment is the most important thing here you know we've already done everything here it's not like we get one shot at it and then it's done forever and people have been saying you know when are you going to do challenges again yeah dog, i mean we're going to do them when specifically i don't know but yet yeah, they're on they're on the list as is like literally everything i know it sounds like i'm being dismissive to your uh criticism here and or not criticism but you know genuine kind of question and that's a bad habit of mine to answer a question in kind of a smart alecky voice that might diminish the um, you know self-esteem of the person asking it. I don't know why I do it I guess it's because I feel it's it's audacious to even be asked a question it's a great personal flaw of mine I suppose um, you know you should practice being a little bit more genuine in my reactions to people I no, this is a bad place to be um, thank you for your 
interest in this series. Challenges will proceed at a later point in the future, but certainly there's something that I'm looking forward to doing. See, that's a much nicer way of doing it, perhaps. Um, so, entertainment's the most important thing, which is why we've gone off on this chores power ranking episode here. I, I'm going to talk about this on the show today, which starts in like 40 minutes, because I, I know everybody is going to have some divisive opinions. I just know, you know, Austin's going to show up and be like, my favorite chore is mopping. I'll be like, why? And he's like, I just like the feeling of mopping. You're crazy. It's all about laundry, man. You just pop a movie on, start folding. Before you know it, you got another week's worth of fresh clothes there. I've got a great idea, and you can't steal it. This is me. I've already mentally put a patent on it, all right? All right. Here's my pitch. Everybody loves the laundry, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have problems. You know when okay. you do all the laundry, you, like, the what do you wear? Like, okay, I'm already fucking it up, and the investors are pissed, <laughs> okay? When you just completed all of your laundry, what do you wear the next day? Your favorite clothes, right? You're not wrong, actually. That, that is what do you what I do. What do you do after you finish your wearing your favorite clothes? You throw them in the hamper. Mm -hmm. Then, over sure. the course of the next several days or even like a week, you throw less and less favorite clothes in like descending order on top of it. So in order to get back to your favorite clothes, you have to do all the laundry to get to the bottom of the hamper. You ready for this idea? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a hamper that hangs up like on a coat hanger or something like that on your bathroom door, your laundry room door. You fill it from the top and you pull dirty clothes out from the bottom. I, you lost me. So <laughs> how? You, your favorite like, shirt ends up on the bottom of the hamper. So when you do laundry, you pull from the bottom so your favorite clothes get washed first. But what do I do all my laundry at the same time, though. You never end yeah, up see, with a backlog? Like this is good for no. functioning humans. <laughs> I have a very good washer and dryer, and they can take very large loads. Don't like say that. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've got like I've got a, a regulation size washer and dryer, but sometimes I need like two or three loads of laundry to be done. Ah, oh, man, I even when I, I I don't own a lot of clothes, so once mm. I do laundry, I do them all at once. So I'm not I'm not there for your you're not, you're not the target yeah. audience. I'm okay. not the target. Yeah, what, what if my hamper is my floor and I do laundry <laughs> once I have well, literally no more clothes? To wear? In a way, you've actually solved the problem right off the bat. So yeah, like I, I I can't really be mad at you. Even though I am, because I really want this to be my ticket out of the streaming industry. But <laughs> it just seemed, to me, I was like, this is a no-brainer. Why would you want your dirty clothes to be on the bottom? Or your your favorite clothes to be on the bottom? You want them to be on the top. Anyway. I, I, just... I, I really expected you guys to be like, I'm not going to do it, but that's a great idea. And instead, I've been met with derision. <laughs> and I just don't... <laughs> I don't know who the target audience is here. The target audience is anybody who... I mean, okay, like, like, I'm first, I don't want to... I'm just saying, I, I also live with another person. So, like, the laundry... People are like, why don't you just do your laundry as soon as it's ready? Because we be doing the laundry once every two days. I think it's better to, like, block it off and do it in, like, uh, you know, take one day and do a bunch of laundry. So that's what I'm saying there, is that maybe, you know, for you guys, if you're living alone, you don't have the same kind of laundry demand that I have. <laughs> I'm not trying to laundry shame you or anything like that. I'm just saying. No, I get you. You, you need two <clears throat> people for this problem to exist. I, think, I, I believe saying. that that's probably correct, yeah. Or one person who changes, like, a lot of clothes. I, so I have the problem that my roommates hate. It's not really a problem for me. It's a problem for them. But I just don't. If, unless they ask me, I just don't get the laundry from the the dryer or the, from the washer. Oh, you just pull clothes out of the dryer. Yeah, I just yeah. I just like I walk, I get my towel and mm. in my in my shirt and everything, and I, I was like, you know, it can just stay there. I don't want to put it in my drawer. I used to do that, but then I uh, moved into a house that six people lived in, and um. you know, you only need to see your like wrinkly clothes on top of the dryer a couple times before you know they start to yeah. wean that out of you pretty quickly. 
Hmm. It's not. I guess uh, you you have one washer in your in your house. I'm assuming. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Any more than that would be a little ridiculous. <laughs> the, the, I, I I justify it by the fact that it is my washer, How's and not that? theirs. When I bought it. It's, it's oh, just mine. okay. It didn't have laundry when you moved in. Yeah, they they don't have a washer and dryer. Whoa, I do. Yeah. So you guys ever <laughs> you ever live in a, a place one. with like a like laundry facilities or worse live in a place without them and have to go to the laundromat i did the first time that i moved and i hated it so much that I, the, the first money that i got for my job i spent on a washer and dryer <laughs> <laughs> i Man. used to embody like peak millennial uh when i first moved to vancouver i was like you can go to the laundromat, which is like a bus ride away, and you could sit there for two hours while your clothes get washed and dried. Or you could just drop it off, and like for 20 bucks, they would fold it and package it and like deliver oh, it to you. I would you. do that and every I was like, time. Th it's like DoorDash <laughs> for laundry. I was like, oh, 100%, I'm in. Absolutely. It's not even close. Convenience is worth so much. I spend so much money on convenience. <laughs> I feel like I have got it, like, I like my system. <laughs> I just, when I am when I take a shower, I just shed my clothes. And okay, then the pile yeah. gets big, and I go, all right, I got to put this pile in the washing machine. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you just repeat that, as needed. I used to do that, but eventually I got a hamper, and it just, it just makes life a little bit easier. Hamper. Do you think that the hamper is, like, the worst named domestic device? Probably. It sounds it's like something there. that makes your life harder, but it actually just consolidates a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a garbage can for your laundry. Or it's like a recycling bin for your laundry. That's a much better way to describe it, absolutely. Yeah. It's like a recycling <laughs> bin for your laundry. Laundry is the easiest chore. It's probably it's one of them at least. It yeah, no, it's, it's definitely it's, out there. It's it's down on the list of, of difficult things to do. I also like it's not like uh, Kate and I have argued about it, but we, you know, in any relationship, there becomes like a division of labor at home. Uh, you know, like the man bring home brings home the bacon, and the woman is just. <laughs> I decided, I decided early on that I was gonna go for it, and then I, I fumbled the words, which made it sound even worse. But no, yeah, that so was bad. like uh, for for laundry for the longest time, she did. Like she put it in the washer, and then she put it in the dryer, and I folded it. And I was like, I'm getting the shit end of the deal. I thought I was doing her a favor. But when I talked to her, she thought it was 50-50. So we've swapped <laughs> responsibilities, and I've never been happier with the laundry. Putting it in the washer and putting it in the dryer is the easiest job of all time. It's amazing. Folding it sucks. <laughs> I, I, do, I do not fold it. I, you're I an anti-folder. Yeah. I just do not fold. folder <laughs> <clears throat> it's, just, it's so like it fits in because I have not a lot of clothes. It fits in the drawers without folding, and they're not that wrinkly. So, why? Why would I do that? I I do fold now when I'm done. Like I fold and put away in the drawers. That's that was a big step for me in twenty uh, twenty. You're, you're the reverse of me. You don't put it in the hamper, but you fold it. I put it in the hamper, yeah, but yeah. I don't fold it. I think you have to. Well, you don't have to fold it. Like I'm not gonna tell you you have to, but like. You should, cause like, don't your clothes get wrinkly? No, at a, at all, like a little, but not that much. I don't know, man. I'm skeptical. I, I'm not gonna force you to iron, cause I think that's just ridiculous. Oh, like that's, that's, I, I almost, I don't even understand ironing. Like, is that yeah. that's it's like washing your clothes on one of those washboards from like the 1920s. Just hang everything. I, I can't. I, it's too much work. Folding is like the same <laughs> speed as hanging. I'd rather just fold personally. Now, see, I, I hang button downs. I hang button downs, fold my pants. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you a personal question if you don't mind, uh, Justin. Yeah, yeah. We might have talked about this before. How often hmm. do you wash your jeans? So I've always felt like I wash jeans way more regularly than everyone, anyone else does. Okay. Like I'll wear yeah. jeans for like three days max when I wash. That's it, it. Seems like you're. That's not enough. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun for sure. I I probably wear jeans for like two weeks. I've I've gotten better. I don't. I used to wash them every day. Well, one jean wear and then wash. Now I do like three jean wears and a wash. 
Are any of you on first boss yet, by the way? I am I just on the second got there. floor. The just, second floor. God damn. I mean, it would just be amazing if I won. So it's not like I'm upset. Like <laughs> I'm just hitting the first boss. I don't even know if I'm gonna beat him. I don't. This is. I'm glad we're talking about this because chat's like, they're surprised, and I appreciate that. And I'm not gonna. I'm not shaming chat, okay? <laughs> but when my mom did all my laundry, I was the same way. I was like, I wear the jeans. I put them in the hamper. Yeah. Then three That's days. Where I learned it. Three days later, I got three new jeans that are perfectly clean. This is amazing. That is the exact same thing with me. Once I started, <laughs> uh, once I started doing my own laundry, I started looking for you know things that I don't have to clean that often. Same with towels. Like how often do you use a towel to dry? Like before it's too dirty to use again after showering. It, it has to smell. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's it has to get that. Power. I'm in exactly the same boat. I'm like, as soon as this thing stinks, or more accurately, as soon as Kate says it stinks, that goes in the washer. <laughs> yeah. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, man, I don't know. Laundry's weird. I still think you should pull laundry from the bottom of the hamper. But I guess it's it's a it's a not as big of a problem as I thought it would be. It's it's yeah. That, I, it's, <laughs> not the new rage that'll hit the nation. I didn't realize that it was a problem that only I have. <laughs> what is Oh fuck. No, oh, this is I can't have this phone call now. It's about my new house. I have to take this. I'm so sorry. Take oh, it on wow. air. No. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you fill the air. All right. <laughs> so, what, hey. What, yeah, how's it going? <laughs> How you doing? What's your, uh, what's your dishes meta like? My dishes meta? Yeah. So I have a dishwasher for the first time in my life. Man. Nice, yeah. And it's a li it's life-changing. It's amazing. I always hated doing dishes. It kind of, like, annoys me. Because I used to not have a dishwasher, and then when anybody had a dishwasher and complained about dishes, I would be like, you're a baby. You have a oh, dishwasher. Yeah. But now I've had a dishwasher for like three years, mm. and I'm like, I, it's just not, I, I still complain. I'm like, oh, I got to empty it before <laughs> I fill it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's certainly not fun by any means, but I, I, I'm in a good place with my dishes. My kitchen harmony is crazy now. I just got a spice rack yesterday. Oh, hey. Spices. Dude, I'm, you're, I'm making moves. You're a step ahead of me. I do not have a spice rack. We just have all our spices, oh, like, shoved in a weird drawer. And whenever I want, like, something I haven't used in two months, I got to go around digging in there. Oh, man. It's no good. Last night, too, uh, Comcast decided I'd had enough streaming, and my internet went out all night. So I just made stew for two hours. It's wonderful. It was a nice. good night. Yeah. I had oh, my God. I would I ask Austin thing. about his dish doing meta, but... Uh, oh, I don't... I do not do them. <laughs> I haven't done them in a year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. What's your favorite chore? I know this sounds like uh, like the worst topic of conversation of all time. But I think, you know, the chores are something we all have to do. When I was young, I never had to do them. The reason was um, I was an only child. I was spoiled. But not spoiled in the way that you hear about only children being spoiled, where it's like, I want a Lamborghini. No, it was more like, you know, my parents just never asked me to help around the house. And when they did, I would be like, yeah, I'll get to it. And then I never got to it. And my mom would just do it. And now I feel bad about it. But as far as, like, crappy teenage behavior goes, that's not that bad. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm going to cut myself a little bit of slack for that. Um... Give me Gimpy. Oh, we all not Krampus. Scary. Now that I'm older, I have to do chores. Not because... And, oh, thank you. We did it. Um, people are, to some extent, probably commiserating. They're like, yeah, I get it. Your wife makes you do chores. I understand. That's a tough life. No, it's not like that. I mean, originally, like, there was a little bit of, yes, my wife prefers the house to be cleaner than I do. So I do... Um, well, I think there's a difference, and it's not a husband-wife difference. It's like a clean person, not clean person. But I feel weird calling myself unclean, but you get the idea. But I also don't want to use the opposite vernacular, which would be like, neat freak, normal person. I think she's the normal one, and I'm a little bit on the more slovenly side of, uh, of average. But, you know, not derelict. But anyway, they notice, if you're a clean person... You didn't just notice dirt and mess 
faster than people who are uh, not clean. And it's not that I like living in dirt. It's that literally I can probably count on one hand the number of times that I've looked down at the floor and been like, I should vacuum. But if you're a clean person, I'm pretty sure that every time you look at the floor, you go, I should probably vacuum. And then you feel bad about not doing it for a while. I know it's hard for me to put myself in those shoes because I am not a, I'm not a clean person. I'm not, I don't want to say dirty person either, but you know, I think there's clean people and people that are, I don't want to say they're unclean. Again, it's, it's very difficult and tricky diction, but you notice dirt faster. I lived alone and I lived uh, in a house. When I say I lived alone, you know, I literally lived by myself in Korea, but also I lived away from my parents in school. But it's not, if you've ever lived in a college house, you know, it's not like everybody was like, yeah, I'll do your chores for you. It's like, you know, you got to nut up and do your own stuff. So I did get used to doing my own chores, but I'd always just clean my apartment uh, to the uh, to my own standards, which were relatively low. But now and th there was a point with this bit, by the way, I know you're like you've been talking about it for like five minutes. Where are you going with it? When I was much younger, I used to think, man, it must suck. That's really lucky for us. It must suck to be older and like have to, oh, take out the trash and rake the leaves, mow the lawn. And to some extent, I bet it does. Because I live in an apartment building and I do that deliberately so I don't have to shovel snow or rake leaves or mow lawns. You know, that's chores I don't want to get down with necessarily. Wouldn't it be great if we could just opt out and not do those? Yeah. Maybe, but you know what's greater and I feel this way about a lot of adult responsibilities right now And it's gonna fall on deaf ears for some people, but for some of you. I think you're gonna resonate with this What's even better than opting out of adult responsibility is Just recognizing that it's really like not that much of a big deal at all and You should just do it because it's part and parcel with like, you know being a steward for the planet and I'm not talking even about recycling, specifically. I'm like, you know, when I was a kid, it was like, oh, man, I had to take five minutes out of my day to vacuum. That's ridiculous. I never want to vacuum. As an adult, you could be like the kind of guy who's like, wouldn't it be sick if we invented a floor that vacuums itself? And that's cool, Elon, if you're into that sort of thing. Let me know when it gets, you know past the prototype stage and maybe I'll give it a look but what's even cooler than that is being like nah don't worry about inventing that that sounds like a lot of work what I'm gonna do I'll just take five minutes I'll vacuum I'll put some music in and it'll it'll be fine I don't find vacuuming fun but you know you just do it anyway so there's something that's got to be done it's the way I'm trying to live with this you know you gotta accept that the uh you know, the grown-up responsibilities are always going to be there. And there's always, they're always going to be there for a reason. You know, it's not like dad came home from a long week of work and was like, Oh boy, I can't wait to wake up early on Saturday so I can help clean the house. No, nah, it's just, you know, he accepted that that's, as an adult, it's just something you got to do. And that's okay, too. Sometimes you got to do things that wouldn't be your number one choice for a recreational activity in order to you know, experience the other pleasures of adult life. That's the way I choose to reframe it. Anyway, we never answered the question, what's your favorite chore? I gotta say, my favorite chore is garbage. Now, there's many options. Have I answered this question differently in the past? Possibly. But I will stand by doing the or taking the garbage down. Why? You get to go on a nice little walk. It doesn't take very much time. And in the end... You're basically just carrying something and then depositing it. And yeah, you know, I have to sort the recycling. It doesn't take that. It's like a five-minute job, you know? The plastics go in the plastic bin. We have an organics container. We, we keep separately. We put all that in the organics bin. It's easy, you know? Doing the dishes, I like it because in the modern era, doing the dishes is just like watching TV productively. Put on something in the background, maybe youtube.com slash northern lion, just as a personal suggestion. Um, 
if you're interested. And then, you know, if it takes you half an hour, sure, it takes you half an hour, but you also got to, you know, enjoy some pseudo leisure time in the process. My least favorite chores are definitely chores that you can't do while also doing something else. It doesn't mean I won't do them. It just makes them a little bit more annoying. For example, vacuuming is a good one. Vacuuming, I find it a very frustrating chore for two reasons. Well, not, I, really for one reason. The reason is that it's noisy. And you can get quiet ones, but uh, the quiet ones aren't as good. Like, we have a really good vacuum cleaner. It's so loud. And then we have a wireless vacuum cleaner that's pretty good, but it's not good enough to, to be like your only vacuum. That's right, we got two vacuum cleaners, okay? Don't spread that around. I don't want people to know. Cracker Jacks. No thank you, sir. Wiggle Worm. No thank you, sir. Extremely. Wiggle Worm is a tears upgrade, though. I did not know that. This is very tough, but I think if you looked at it logically and you put yourself in my shoes... You would probably take the wafer. And the reasoning is because if we die, we'll just leave as Blue Baby. And then we have the wafer for future floors. And we've act we won't have unlocked Blue Baby. I don't know how we're going to get Blue Baby. I don't remember. But we'll try to survive. So vacuuming is like such an annoying chore. Because even when I'm not doing it, it's noisy. And I will admit, depending on your walk of life, you might be able to get down with a Roomba. For us, because we work from home, the Roomba is kind of a bad value proposition. We have one, so I guess we actually have three vacuums, which is a little ridiculous, but, you know, we have lived together for like six years. One of them used to be, I guess we've had four vacuums. <laughs> one of them used to be like a really cheap, like, dirt devil that barely worked, so. That one didn't count, 3.1 vacuums. The Roomba is nice if you're leaving the house, but it's kind of like a catch-22. You don't have to be inconvenienced, and your house will be vacuumed by the Roomba. But it does the job very, very slowly, and sometimes it needs adult supervision. Sometimes the uh, the Roomba gets stuck on things. It gets, you know, under your bed, or it wedges itself under the refrigerator, or something like that. And then goes, move Roomba to a new location. You know what? End me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Realistically, that was not going to work. Now we're Blue Baby, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. So the Roomba, I recommend it with an asterisk. And the asterisk is, you know, if you're using it and you're not in the house, it might work okay for you. At home, like, I would rather vacuum because it'll only take half an hour at most. The Roomba is going to take two hours. It's not going to do a fantastic job of it. I don't have to do anything for it. But I'm still, like, because my job involves audio, it's not like I could just turn the Roomba on and then be like, Hey, everybody! Because then, you know, you're going to hear... Ring, dunk, 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 dunk. That's it trying to enter through the door. And I'm like, no, Roomba! There are various uh, class of Roomba as well. I will admit, I think we have one of the cheaper Roombas. So maybe the really good ones uh, actually do... A, or really expensive ones, I should say, actually do a much better job. I wouldn't know, to be honest. This run is a little spotty, and I didn't think it would be, but somehow we have turned like a near guaranteed win into something a little bit more dubious. So this is like half a spirit heart for a huge stats upgrade. We've only got to get through one more floor. Like this might sound ridiculous. I would almost rather sweep than vacuum. Now, here's another question for you. It'll really gauge how you feel about uh, life. Do you think that cooking is a chore? I like to cook, but I do have to say, I think cooking is a chore. If you're cooking for, for more than one person. You know, if you're cooking for yourself, I might consider it not a chore. Because it doesn't have to be done to maintain cleanliness. You could always just eat you know, a handful of peanuts <laughs> every three hours or like a bottle of soil in every four hours or something like that and get a relatively complete nutritional profile. But, yeah, I guess it is a chore. 
to some extent. The cooking, I approve of. You know there's some people out there that like when they divide the dishes up, you know, they're like, I'll wash you dry. There are people out there that actually prefer to wash dishes. Many of you are probably watching this video right now. What is, are you out of your mind? You would rather wash dishes than dry dishes? Why? I need to hear your reasons. Here, I'll, and in the meantime, I'll argue the opposite case, okay? Drying dishes owns, because it's the easiest thing in the world. Literally, all you do is take a plate, rub a dishcloth over it, and then put it back in the location where it belongs. It takes about two seconds per plate. Meanwhile, the person washing is, they got like a frying pan that they cooked scrambled eggs in five hours ago. They're all caked to the bottom of the pan because they overcooked it a little bit. It's been soaking in water. You got gross egg matter all up on your forearm, even though you got dishwashing gloves on. Like, it's much less glamorous. The drying part is the easiest part in the world. When we would do that, uh, we, we had like a chore wheel in my university house. Whenever you hit, like dishes was two people, one wash, one dry. Whenever I landed on that with a, a rational housemate, it was always bad, you know, because you're like, oh, we're going to have to argue over who washes and who dries. When I, there was some weirdos that I lived with, and I love them to this day. But, you know, they were like, oh, okay, we're doing the dishes. I'll wash you dry. And I was like, you are a, you're my lord and savior. Thank you so much. Drying dishes is the easiest chore. It's like if you divided laundry as, like, one person puts it in the washer and the dryer and one person folds. I will put it in the washer and dryer any day of the week. It takes 30 seconds. You just put the clothes in. You put the soaps in. And then you flip the knob and press the button. Then you come back in half an hour. The folding is the annoying part. That's where it takes, you know, 25 seconds a t-shirt. Times all the things that you got. I haven't talked about this run in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not a complete believer we're gonna make it through here, but there's no consequence to, you know, dying right now. So what do we care? We might as well go for it. It's very freeing. Anyway, that's my, that's my treatise on chores. I will say on the West Coast, we're insulated to some extent. The worst chore of all, is shoveling snow. The chore is so bad that like at least 500 men a year just die. And I know people say like it's probably due to like heart conditions and like you're in the cold but you're also exercising so it's like it's bad for your heart. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that for at least a small percentage of them they were just like I can't shovel another day. And they just gave up right there. And I don't blame them. I've shoveled a lot of snow in my day. I grew up uh, in rural-ish Ontario. Probably had to shovel snow maybe two to three times a week growing up. It's a thankless chore. It's like mowing your lawn, but the grass is really, really heavy. <laughs> you have to mow a little bit less, depending on the size of your lawn and driveway, I suppose. But, like, still. That's a bad chore. And that's why still to this day, like, you know, people, uh, there's a lot of, and I think this goes for every place on the West Coast. There's a lot of people on the West Coast that started on the East Coast or in the Midwest, et cetera, et cetera. And then they come out here, you know, because there's, uh, you know, jobs and industries they like. You know, maybe they want to work in games. That's how I have interacted with it for the most part. For the most uh, part in the industry, you're going to be in, like, San Francisco or L.A., Vancouver to a much lesser extent, but... Redmond is another with Seattle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so there's people that you know they move here from New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, you know Detroit. You get the idea. And every once in a while, you'll catch someone who's not thinking straight, and they'll go, you know, I like the West Coast, but I kind of miss snow. And all I can picture is like the kinds of blizzards you would get like three or four times a year, and being out at like 6:45 in the morning shoveling your whole driveway just so you have the privilege of being able to drive in your cold car to work 
and then work for like six hours or everybody will play eight hours i guess where everybody's like oh cold enough for you no thank you much rather live on the west coast where everyone instead goes got enough rain for you bro speaking of uh, neighbors not caring i quite literally had to climb over a a literal mountain of clothes to get to my washer and dryer Ooh. to do a load of clothes. So they they and, had uh, stuff in the dryer, literally pulled it out and just left it on the bathroom. No, floor. they're all like, dirty. Why would they just leave dirty clothes on the floor? Good question. <laughs> but, but like it's I couldn't see the floor. I couldn't see the floor of the under. Maybe they're hoarders. No, they just don't. They're just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like like I don't get it. Like, how do you, how do you, like, you picked up the dirty clothes from somewhere. Uh-huh. And then you brought and them to the laundry to, area. Yes. And then just left and them just there? just left them there? I, I bet you that they did that and then did one load and went, that's good enough. And then did that six more times until there was a <laughs> mountain of clothes. It's really, they're not, like, cleaning. They're just kind of, like, they're shipping mess. Yes. Just, just kind of shuffling it around. Just moving it around, and uh, you know, the, tomorrow me has to deal with that. Oh kind yeah, of mentality. dude, I hate that shit. I mean, I I've like I subscribe to that shit, but not to that extent. I've just, done it because our or not, I've done it, but I've done where I've had to fix it because I have uh, like in our apartment, there's a laundry room in the basement, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it's got hours, like it closes at ten o'clock. So can you get always... in after that? No. So it has like um, it has like an electronic lock or something. Well, originally it was just like manually locked by maintenance. And they've they've updated it to use the key fob. Okay. Thingies. Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of like, well, maybe they could do it twenty four seven, but I guess they don't want people doing laundry. It's a yet. noise thing, I guess. Like. No, because like it's the basement is is well insulated. That's I think it's just I I don't know, but either way. It's time is an issue, right? If you don't get in by like eight o'clock, yeah. you can't do a full wash and, and dry cycle. And there will be people that just leave their crap in the freaking washer and they don't take it oh. out or they don't take it out of the dryer. And you're like, I gotta go. Dude, so I've 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 done it where I just take their crap out. Like if yeah. it's if nothing <laughs> I think else you, is you get is 15 available, minutes in my opinion. I yeah, I probably. Be gave them like a half hour and all the machines were occupied i'm like listen i'm the we year is 2020 no one has time for people to mess with laundry like Look, if you are so uncourteous to leave your laundry in like the washing machine waiting to be dried fuck yep. that take it out yeah, yeah dude, this is why we got this coronavirus shit from. going on <laughs> nobody's taking care of their damn dirty stuff nobody's washing their hands Leaving their shit in the washer for like 45 minutes before they dry it. Comes mm -hmm. out smelling like a freaking French cheese. <laughs> yeah, I, if you want to leave your clothes in the dryer, it's done. I'm, I'm mad, but like, I can just take them out and put them on top of the dryer. That's no right. big deal. Yeah. That's, yeah. You leave them in the washer. Oh, that's yeah. bad. It's, Not it's only, heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> it stinks. After like an hour, it fucking smells like shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, and it's it ruins like the next load of clothes too. Like you have to like. I don't know, my washer, if they leave it in for too long, I have to run the washer with no clothes in it just to wash the smell out. Otherwise, if I put my laundry in, it's going to smell like that. Yeah. Even if I take it out immediately. It's horrible. Dude, it's one, just, just do your fucking laundry. <laughs> like, it's one like thing. So easy. It's so easy. It's the dude. easiest it chore. So Doing easy. the laundry so... isn't even the hard part. The only annoying part is folding it. Folding yeah. it, yeah. Everything else, Ooh. the machine was literally invented because people were like, this sucks. I've been I've been rolling more than folding lately. Mm. I still fold. Roll. I do Ooh. the 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 Marie Kondo fold for like shirts and and stuff. Yeah. It's nice because it's pretty easy. I'm and all then... about rolling my t-shirts now. You mm. roll them, you put them in the drawer, and they're great. I can believe it. You can fit so many more t-shirts in there. You can see all your t-shirts in there. Yeah. Am I? Do you guys own a lot of clothes? Like, are you one of those people that has a walk-in closet that is literally? Kristen has <laughs> all of the clothes. I yeah. can't handle that. Everyone I've lived with, my parents, my roommates, all have the most clothes. They literally, <laughs> yes. there's no way they can even wear them all in a full lifetime. It's so <laughs> exactly yes. It's just, why? Well, like we actually, our our laundry business is not 
optimized right now. We actually have to carry laundry debt because we don't have enough hangers to hang up all this stuff that needs to be hung up. So if we if we laundered all of our clothes, we wouldn't be able to store them. So we always have to keep a certain amount of, of corporate laundry debt on hand just so that the uh, just so that we can function. Fuck that. I I have an incredibly small amount of clothes. Like a week's worth of clothes and I just You have a every week's week. worth of clothes? Probably, yeah. Awesome. That's Incredible. I know it's I know, I know I it's a small I amount. Have only a week's worth of clothes, but I've been I'd, purging. I, I, I like that. You have to go anywhere. Yeah. Dude, you got like a Ricky Gervais wardrobe that's just slimming black shirts and one pair of blue jeans. That's Dude. Rob. I got I got a <laughs> I got a black t-shirt that I've had for a while. Dude, it's nice. Good fit. You know. Oh, you scared me. It, that's about it. But I like it. I should get more. No. Uh, there's nothing like a, a good fitting t-shirt oh yeah hugs you I've in all had... the right places doesn't hug you in all the wrong places thank you kate i've uh i've got I shirts that i've had places. since like high school era oh same yeah still i still fit high shirts yeah still that's fit. part of what i've been i've been purging some of them some of them i'm gonna keep just you know because nostalgia mm -hmm. dude i get rid but... of so many clothes like I at, at least twice stuff. a year, I go through the, especially the t-shirt drawer. And I'm like, I don't need half of yep. this shit. And then when we moved, I got rid of like 80% of it. And it's been great. Oh, yeah. Check this out. I'm going to, this is me about to be in an, like the biggest dick of uh -oh. all time. Okay. So I get, this, I get this really <laughs> wonderful tweet today okay. by, by our friend. A, a Mr. Bear Taffy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, yeah. The, sh the tweet is a picture of my shirt. He goes, Josh, this is like my favorite right? shirt yeah. of I all saw time. This. I saw I this got, tweet. I threw, I, I gave away his shirt that I bought. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I, I have zero of the of the Twitch shirts remaining. <laughs> yeah. I hate that, like, the, they, they didn't, it wasn't a below average production run, but they just, they lasted as long as, like, a normal shirt lasts. You yes, know, and then right. they started to crack and, you know, the sleeves don't fit right anymore. Like, what am I going to do? Keep like a piece of garbage around just because a, a friend of mine made it. They've already spent the money. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad because I really do like Bear's shirt. Um, but like I had to get rid of I, I, I need to go through shirt purges. Yeah, like, it's, it's just a necessity. Of Absolutely. Life. Just buy my hat. It's embroidered. You can't. I'm never going to do that. <laughs> Can't fail. There's a zero percent chance of that ever. I'll buy one of your hats. I mean, you don't have. I'll buy your underwear. They're, they're on DBH, right? Hell's yeah, brother. How much is a hat? Uh, I think it's twenty-five. Not unreasonable. I, you it's have like my word. I'll purchase stitch, one of your. I'll purchase one of your hats. There you go. You just made a sale. You selling underwear? No. If they if they had it, I would. Um, but they do like it. All the designs are on like. Phone cases and I'm like, stickers. Are you selling your underwear? Like, oh well, how much are you paying? I'll send I mean, a free foot pic uh, if you <laughs> order free. <laughs> Careful with that offer. <laughs> Josh wants to stink. My, it's smell my stinky farts. So that's fine. I don't care. Hell yeah. I normally I would like I I'd have to pay him to do that. Would you? Normally. Yeah. Definitely feels a lot better. Is laundry the worst necessary chore? Mm, good question, Toasty. Are you are you mining content for a for a video right now? Laundry is not the worst necessary chore. Laundry is actually pretty easy. You don't have to do it all that often. The machine does like almost all the work for you. All you got to do is fold. The only part of and every this is not a, a a rare take. Everybody already knows this. The only part of laundry that sucks is the folding. And even then, you can just watch a TV show and and fold at the same time. I'm going back. I'm just a little frightened. What if you don't have a washing machine? Then you're not part of this discussion because you probably also do not have uh, a computer. Oh, you mean like you have to go to a laundromat? I thought you meant like you were doing it with like a washboard at the creek outside of your house or something like that. If you got to go to a laundromat, that's annoying. Sure. But even still, I don't even think it's that annoying. 
Because we used to, we didn't have a washing machine for a while. We used to go to the laundromat. We put our clothes in the washer. Sit there for half an hour. Put the clothes in the dryer. Then go get some sushi and come back. All you got to do is make sure that you're there like in time for the dryer to be done. Is it, it you know you just do that on like a Saturday and then you go uh, eat some lunch while your while your laundry's drying. I forgot what I was doing. I guess thumb lock. Laser speed is is uh, important for sure. I mean, I definitely feel like the dishes are worse. I'm I'm in the dishes flow now, so it's like not as bad necessarily. But you have to do them every day, multiple times a day usually. That in and of itself makes it worse. I can't believe it. We found something with blast mining. Dishwashers are OP. Okay, well, laundry laundry machines are OP too. What if I don't have a dishwasher? Oh, whoa, chat actually hates poor people. Canceled, canceled. Oh, the rules don't apply to me. I'm not, do not observe me. Do not observe my shade. I see you. Garbage disposal, most underrated appliance. You know what? I would agree with you on that one. I miss having a garbage disposal. We no longer have one. I never had one growing up. Then our last place had one. This place doesn't. I got used to it. I became addicted to the, to the garbage disposal. Buy one? Nah, I don't want one that bad. But it is nice. I don't know why people, they always act like they got a cheat code. They're like, Psst, come here. You hate doing the dishes? I got, a, I, got a, I got a silver bullet for you. Just do them while you cook. <laughs> don't tell them I told you. Just You still got to, it's the same amount of work if you do them while you cook or right after you eat off them. If, or if you do them like at the end of the day. If you let them sit for like two weeks and they get all moldy and stuff and they clog up the sink so you can't even use the sink, yes, it's, it's demonstrably more work. People are like, dishes aren't that bad. I just do them. Okay, me too. So you, you don't have a cheat code. It's the same amount of labor. No, why you're acting like it's the, hey, a little life pro tip from a 17-year-old who's lived on their own for 10 seconds. Do your dishes while you're cooking. Hey, a little pro tip, a little pro tip. I'm, in, I'm away at my second year of college. We're living in off-campus housing. I don't know if you knew this, but it's a lot cheaper to buy groceries and cook than it is to order from DoorDash. Just a little budgeting tip from me to you. I've been doing this shit. I've, I lived in my, well, okay. When I came back from Korea and I was 24, I lived in my parents' house for like six months. But apart from that, I've been out of the damn house since 17. So at 17, I went to the freshman year dorms, and I, I basically never looked back. I've tried it all, man. That sucks. It was actually fine, but the world was a different place back then. I mean, I was like, oh, this is expensive. If only I knew how expensive it would be in 2022, I would have moved out when I was 12. Next, no matter what, well, okay, just save. We, we probably need jetpack speed, but we may need to buy HP. Because the waves are, they're not getting any easier. Stall him, stall him, so staying close together so I can hit both of you with the lasers. Beautiful, okay. You know what, I'm buying speed. If we can't afford to buy a speed upgrade, then we, we're, we're dead anyway. Disappointing. Get a damn dishwasher. 
Why are you so mad? Are you okay? Do you have a problem? Are you satisfied in your life? Do you feel like you have an internal locus of control? It's not an, it's not, you're a stranger to me. It's not an appropriate way to speak to somebody. No? Okay, we'll sort that shit out, buddy. Sounds like you got bigger problems than someone else's inefficiency doing the dishes. So toxic? Don't be toxic to me! <laughs> I'm not your buddy. It's a debate, buddy. Okay, hold on, hold on. We don't even have enough for the health, so we're just letting it ride here. We got triangles. We got triangles. Just simmer. This is the dream wave. We're going to take some hits, but we're always going to take some hits. This is as good as it gets right now. I didn't say it in an angry way. I don't know who you are. How do I know whether you're saying it in an angry way? You use the D word. Where I'm from, we don't use curses unless we're, we're angling for a, for a scrap. For a rootin' tootin' bar brawl. That's right, I was raised in Roadhouse. Starring Patrick Swayze. 